Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance. And as you can see, we are in the middle of a hmm. game of Farkle. Um, we are at 2,050 out of 3,000. Manfred is at 1,100. And did we bust in one roll? Ew. Well, we have quite a lead we'll over see. Manfred, at least currently. I don't know, we're going to have to see. I've gotten the hang of the game now. After, uh, playing some rounds off camera, because I just, like, I need to get the rules down here, like, set. Mm. And I think I have. However, busting on your roll is not exactly mm. the best way to approach it on your first. So ones and fives allow you to stay in. That's it. And he rolled again. Damn! Which was a bold strategy. What's the hold up? Hey, See, we've got here. the die right here. I'm playing a more conservative style, so let's go ahead and hold one. And we'll score and roll again. We're looking for sets. And there's our set of four. Alright, so we'll hold that. That'll give us 400. And let's go for 450. Why not? And score that. We just need 400 more to win. And then hopefully Manfred will get himself... Nice and drunk. Oh, there's 500. I don't believe Ooh. it. That was fortunate. And we would have busted if not for this nice one here. And there we go. There's our three. 3,000. Why the hell did I even stop? Oh, yeah. uh, I've had enough. And you said you wouldn't What's drink today. Hey, Shiles! Hey, hey. I'm going to sleep. Here's a few coins. Have fun. Tomorrow, we're going to the monastery. Is that clear? Couldn't you give me more? This isn't even enough for a toothless whore. It's enough for beer. Good night. Get rid of the Guardian so you can talk to Carl in private. What's the old up there? Well, let's go ahead and have a seat. God be with you. Manfred's taken care of, just as you wanted. Thank God. He won't let me out of his sight for a second, and he's itching to get me in the monastery so he can head back home. Why are you being sent to the monastery? Like every lusty young lad, I'm fond of fair maidens, but I got too fond of one, and let's just say she was, um, indisposed for nine months. But they don't send you to the monastery for that. They do, when it's the daughter of the Lord of your feet. Oh. Shit. <laughs> Shit is putting it mildly. The Lord of Bukova was less than pleased. He knows he'll never marry off his daughter now, so he gave father a choice. Either. Pay him 1,000 groschen in compensation, along with my balls on a silver platter, or pay 1,000 groschen and put me away somewhere no one will ever see me again. Why does your guardian never leave your side? So I don't run away. Of course, I'm free to walk around, but he watches every step I take and won't stop until I'm behind the monastery walls. Well, he's not watching you now. What good is that to me when he has all the money, and even my saddle and riding cloak under lock and key? Why don't you just run away? Bear asked. What the hell would I do? I don't know how to work, I have no money, and that old bastard's even taken my cloak. He has me in the palm of his hand. But there are poor people everywhere, and they get by somehow. If I have to choose between hunger and poverty on one hand and the monastic life on the other, I'm afraid the monastery wins. If I could only steal that old man's pouch, I'd be gone faster than lightning, and no one would ever see me again. Steal the guardian's purse. Ew. What if I entered the monastery instead of you? What? Voluntarily? You don't look like someone who'd want to spend the rest of his days on his knees praying. Well, that's your problem. You could only enter the monastery if you know how to read and write, and if you have a special writ from the abbot. That's a letter confirming they know who you are and that they've accepted you. So you give me your writ? 
I'll just tell them I'm you. Manfred has the writ. You'd have to take it from him, but he only puts it down when he sleeps. So I'll steal it and then you can disappear. Disappear? Bear asked. What the hell would I do? I don't know how to work. I have no... Nope. There are poor people everywhere. If I... That's all then. Well then. May the Lord watch over you. Looks like we still have some uh, work to do with Manfred. Let's go ahead and get out. I guess he is upstairs. This actually probably be a really good time for a savior schnapps. Just in case. Because you know how that can go. And I really don't want to play Farkle again. Do, 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 do. Is he... Passed out here? Alright, let's go ahead and put on our... We haven't done this in a while. Black hood, black scarf. Take off all of our armor. Actually, we'll keep the leather boots. I think we'll be in good shape now. Dun 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 dun. Very quietly close the door. Oh, we can knock him out, can't we? Yeah, why not? And... I don't know if this is going to work. I guess we will find out. Shh. Sleep now. Okay, Manfred's Purse. Monastery Entry Writ. writ. Steal the Guardian's Purse. Ooh! He's there, Manfred. <laughs> uh. Well, while we're here, might as well... In for a penny, in for a pound. Fancy clothes. Eh. Was that... Was that all that we had to do here? Let's go ahead and check the quest log, just to make sure. Yeah. Just the coin purse. Do 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 do. Good night, sweet prince. All right, I'm actually I'm very pleased with my uh, stealthiness right now. Okay, Carl. I've got what you need. Excellent. Give me the purse. You can do as you like with the writ. Give him the entire contents of the purse? Yeah, I don't... Here. Here you are. Good luck, no matter what you plan on doing with those monks. Best be on your way now before Manfred finds out that he's been robbed. And what are you going to do? Get my things together and disappear. I want to be as far away as possible before that old man even knows I'm gone. Here. See you later. Good call. Okay. Well, I guess we need to go ahead and head over to the monastery and begin our life of humble service. Come on, Pebbles. Now, I did see that we had a level up in skills. Yes, in lockpicking. Which makes me happy. Let's see. Learn. Your sixth sense will warn you if someone is about to catch you in the act of lockpicking, so you'll have more time to escape. The noise of snapping a lockpick makes is reduced by 90. That assumes that we're going to lose. 30% easier for you to open locks when drunk. Repairman. Yeah, let's go with sixth sense. Maybe I'll give me the chance to see dead people. So I'm wondering, I was like, we had to learn how to read, which we do, read and write. I'm glad we went ahead and invested in that way back when. 
Do I need to go get my... My clothes? Like my monk's robes and such? I'm not sure. I, know, I don't know what's going on. But this guy knows me. I'm Carl. I'm supposed to enter as a novice. We expected you sooner. Weren't you supposed to come here with your guardian? It's been so hectic lately, people will keep turning up out of the blue. <laughs> but I'm Henry. Or he's like, no, you're not. You're Henry. He gave me the papers and left me at the gate. You must be used to that, though. I'm not the first novice here, am I? But that wasn't very considerate of him, was it? It's been so hectic here lately, novices arriving one after the other. The last one didn't even have a letter, and you'd think his backside was on fire. The way he kept looking over his shoulder. You took him without the letter? You didn't find that suspicious? My guess is he wanted to hide from someone. But he's a priest and knows how things work in the monastery. So there was nothing to prevent him from being accepted, at least temporarily. You're a different case, though. Are you able to read? Naturally. I wouldn't be here otherwise. So then, are you ready to enter the Order of St. Benedict and renounce forever the temptations of this world? Sure. I am. Then you must rid yourself of all your worldly possessions. Sell them or give them to the poor and needy or donate them to the monastery. You may not enter this place burdened by worldly goods. Inside the gatehouse is a trunk in which you will find monk's robes. Put away all your possessions and dress yourself in the habit. Then you may rest a while, while I go and see the prior to arrange matters for your acceptance. Farewell. Okay. Put away all your worldly clothes and chattels. Put on the monk's habit. Oh. Is this our room? Strange feeling being without all of that. I didn't realize how much I'd grown used to it. Everything's prepared. It's time for you to take your vows. Do I really have to wear this? You'd better get used to it. You'll be wearing it for the rest of your life. Yeah, that's not too bad. Henry's like, I miss my armor. Ah, I was nearly killed up there. I love Gregorian chanting. Is that our boy right there? have gathered here today to welcome a new novice into our midst. Dear brother, forget your former life and embrace your new vocation in the community of the monks of St. Benedict. Opus Dei, Obedientia, Obprobria, the service of God, obedience and endurance of all discomfort. These are the cornerstones and succor of our order, which on this day shall become your own. Suscipe me, Domine, secundum eloquium tuum, et vivam, et non confundas me, 
ab expectatione mea. They're going all out with this, aren't they? Suski pe me domine secundum in loquium tum et vivam in loquium tum vivam et, et non confundas me ab expectatione <laughs> Good first impression, Henry. Accept your new name, Brother Gregor, and wear it with honor. Welcome, brother. Wow. Okay. Achievement unlocked, monk. Poverty, chastity, and obedience. Good lord, that was involved. A needle in a haystack. Oh, that's foreboding. Find out which one of the novices is pious. Welcome, brother. Cool. I am Antonius, a novice like you. I've been instructed to guide you around the monastery and tell you what you can expect and what your duties will be. Thanks for helping me out during the ceremony. I had no idea what I was supposed to do. You don't know Latin, do you? Don't worry. Work in the scriptorium will teach you fast enough. Why exactly are you here? Was it your choice? Or did someone force you to come? We kind of knew a little bit of Latin. Everyday labors. It was my choice. For a common lad like me, it's the easiest way to get an education and do something worthwhile with my life. It looks like we're both here for the same reason. I think we'll get along. Would you tell me something about yourself? I'm a novice and I'm here because I'd make a poor merchant. I like books and I want an education. Although I must say, so far the monastic life's been quite... unexpected. Let's go then. Good. But before we do... Here's a letter directly from the prior telling you all your regular duties from tomorrow onwards. Make sure to read it this evening so you know how things work. Right, we can go now. Follow me closely. I'll explain everything as we go. Okay. Remember one word. Discipline. It's your job to work and pray. You serve the Lord now, not your own bodily needs. I remember this place. Did you guys ever... Peace be with you, brother. Slow down, brother. There we go. While the lords are dealing with one lot of marauders in Privy Slavitz, there's another bunch pillaging somewhere else. There'll be no peace as long as Sigismund... Goes What's in here? It's nice to search without... This is the way to the dormitory, where we all sleep. You'll find a free bed there, which is now yours. Do you know the first thing the monastery taught me? To appreciate sleep. We rise before Peace dawn be every day. You, brother. Takes a bit of getting used to. Who does? Believe me. There are a lot of monks here. Praise be to our Lord. I guess if there's any place where you would find a lot of monks, it would be in a monastery. This is the garden. A place for silent contemplation and meditation. Centuries ago, this monastery was founded by the most esteemed of brothers. St. Procopius. His earthly remains can be found in a cave under the monastery, and his spirit wanders the corridors at night, punishing any misbehaving novices. <laughs> so beware. Here are the fratery and scriptorium, together with the library. These are the places where we work. Ora et labora. Pray and work. As a novice, you must always listen to your superior brethren, and above us monks are the prior, and the cicatas, who punish every infraction. You'll know them by the canes they carry. Do what they say. Lovely. This is the refectory, where we come together to eat. During meals, you must be silent. Only one brother reads aloud from the rule of St. Benedict. 
The rule is the only law we recognize, with the exception of those from God himself. If you break any of its precepts, expect a swift punishment. But I've already told you about the circuitors. A swift caning will be in order, apparently. Ah! Old haunting grounds. The library. The pride of our monastery. A trove of learning. We don't just read books here. We also copy them. You, too, will learn how. And that's all. Today you are still free from duty. But tomorrow you begin work like the others. If you need anything, ask any of the brothers. We will be glad to help you. And I recommend you get to know the other novices. You already know me. Then there is Siskin, Yodok, and Lucas. Thanks for showing me around. There's a lot to learn here. Hmm. Tell about your search for... Oh, no, 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 no. I'm looking to get a hold of some lockpicks. Will you tell me something about yourself? Same thing, right? There's not much to tell. Nope. I lived in Vlashim, and after my father died, I found out I wasn't much of a merchant. So I left the shop to my brother and decided to become a monk. It's peaceful here. There's food and lots of time to read. So you chose to come here? It may seem strange, but I'm one of the few novices that did. I might be the only one. The truth is, the idea of spending my life in a monastery was more appealing than being cooped up in a greasy old shop. I'd like to ask you something about the monastery. Who's in charge of things around here? Truthfully, everyone except us. But officially, Abbot Peter. And soon enough, someone else. As if it mattered. Our life will still be work and prayer. I see. Are there any rifts between the brothers? Yes. From the moment talk began about electing a new abbot, it's been like a hornet's nest here. Strange you haven't noticed. Well, I just got here. Tell me something about electing the abbot. Abbot Peter is old. When he dies, they'll have to select a new abbot from amongst the brethren. The candidates are John and Nevlas. And if you ask me for my opinion, Nevlas is definitely the right man. Unfortunately, no one cares about my opinion because novices get no say. Tell me something about life here. Work, prayer, work, prayer, as if you didn't know. We serve God, and that's the central truth of our lives. Fair enough. What are the roles of the various monks here? Someone takes care of the library, someone else the garden. The abbot supervises everyone, and in his absence, the prior. But it's the circators you should worry about. They're the brothers who'll make sure we observe the rule. They can be quite strict, so if you want to avoid getting punished, always act righteously and do your duties honestly. Who would you choose as the new abbot if you could? Why should I even think about that when I don't have the right to vote? Gregor, don't go poking your nose into other people's business. You'll sleep better at night. Yep, and that's the end of that conversation. Okay. Let's go ahead and look at our... Uh, man, we have nothing. Our our stealth is not even going to be good either because we we're rocking out white robes. Okay. I have to find... Uh, Pious among the monastery's novices, but how will I know which one he is? Just have to try and blend in and look for any clues that might lead me to him. Hmm. Okay, so we are on the hunt for folks in white robes. The forbidden Get books must be cabinet. in that cabinet. The book stood in there, aren't for your eyes to see. Yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> we we've already we've already been here. Wonder if you were able to uh, get another copy of the Necronomicon. Okay, white robes, white robes. Why such haste? Because I got stuff to do, my friend. Now we need to avoid the monks with canes, apparently. Oh, here's another novice. Hello? I'm Gregor, a novice. I saw you at the ceremony. 
I know. It was hard not to notice you. And you are? Lucas, also a novice. Don't get upset, but I don't want to talk to you. I'm happiest alone. Well, too bad. I'd like to know something about the other novices. I don't know much, but ask away. Tell me about Antonius. I'd like to, but there's nothing to tell. I've never spoken to him. I've never asked about him. You really don't know anything about anyone? Well, thanks anyway. Don't get upset. I'm sorry I can't tell you more. I just haven't felt like getting to know anyone yet. That's fair. Will you tell me something about yourself? I... There's nothing I can tell you. I mean, where you're from, what sort of life you had before, that sort of thing. I'm a novice, and my monastic name is Lucas. Nothing else matters. Come on. Is there really nothing at all you can tell me? I could, but I don't want to, I'm sorry. I want to stay focused on work and prayer, not on who I once was. I never will be again. What has been isn't important for us. We cast the past aside when we walked through the monastery gates and took our oath. Never forget that. Uh, that seems kind of suspicious to me. If you could, who would you vote for to be the abbot? But I can't vote, so what's the point of worry? Ask Antonius. He often talks about it, and I'm sure he has an opinion. He does. I'd like to ask you something about the monastery. And that's kind of the same thing. Okay. Well, you are a blank slate, aren't you? Which is suspicious. Brother Nevlas? Ah! You're the people I need to avoid. Fair enough. There's Antonius. Do we have time to find one more? Brother Librarian? Is that really his name? Because if so, that's awesome. There were two other novices in the uh, congregation with us. I think it might be him because he has a very unique look compared to other people that we've seen in this game. Okay, nothing here in the chapel. Regular monk. Now we remember from when we first snuck in here that this place is huge. And there's tons of different places to go. Aha! Let's go ahead and have a chat with... I'm telling you, someone's been creeping around in the corridor at night. What am I saying, creeping? He was stomping about like a bear. Not that me. must have been Brother Sir Cater. He can't sleep and prays long into the night. Yeah, if you can back out, please. I need to have a chat with this gentleman. Novice Siskin. My name's Gregor, a novice. You can call me Siskin. But are you here of your own free will, or is this a punishment? Although, it's not important. Welcome to purgatory. Did you say purgatory? You'll see soon enough. Soon enough. Will you tell me something about yourself? Look, nothing against you, but I prefer not to talk about my past. Oh, we've got... Are you hiding something? Why are you so reluctant to tell me anything about yourself? I'm hiding a lousy past that I'd rather forget. Go on. I hate to think of all I lost when they stuck me in here. And also, because I really hate the question, aren't you the son of the famed Sir Smil Flashka Pardubitz? I was rich and I had everything. But then my father began to feel his time approaching, so he decided to send a son to the monastery. And, being the youngest, a lot fell on me. I've no head for managing the estate, and they said I'd squander it. Can you imagine? Me, in a monastery. So I took what coin I could from home with me, so I didn't lose out completely. 
today's food searching for pious I bet they keep the tastiest morsels for okay. themselves and give us the slot that's left over. A hey, objective yeah, completed. Help, help. Is this him? I remember back when we ate like kings. And the wine. Those were the days. But you didn't have to come here if you didn't want to. Things will get better. No, not if I didn't mind being left to beg alms by the city gate. I had one choice. The monastery or nothing. If it had come to that after my father's death, so be it. To get rid of me while he's still alive? What's your plan with this treasure? To get out of here as soon as I can. I'll wait another year or two until my hot-headed brothers cool off a bit, and then I'll take the silver and run off somewhere, far, far away from here. That's all I wanted to know. Please, keep it to yourself. Especially the part about the coin. Will do. Stash. Okay. Let's go ahead and end the dialogue here. Um, what was that in the quest log that finished? For now, I don't know which one of the novices he is, but once I find out, he should die. I could bring him to justice. Okay. The Siskin claimed the things he had in secret stash were mementos of his life outside the monastery walls. The dagger he got from his father and the coin he stole from his home when his family forced him to enter the monastery against his will. So that's how we would get a weapon, essentially. All right, guys. Well, I guess we're going to stay undercover here for a bit. Um, we will go ahead and end the episode here, and we'll pick it up next time. Very different change of pace from what we're used to. So I'm kind of curious where it's going to go. But if you guys liked the episode, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, that'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.